comments uh, based on Tim Miller's politics on gender identity, and I'm going to be covering mine on my own gender identity. Hey everyone, my name is Claire Muscat, and I am non-binary agender. My preferred pronouns are they, them. Miss Claire, would you mind coming up to the front? There she is. You're going to a fine young woman. Hey girl. You'll always be my granddaughter. Ma'am, Miss Claire, you need yes, to girl. Girl. So Stop! I'm not a woman. Every time someone calls me a lady, a striking emotion tears through my body. A kind of pain that only forms in my mind. My body feels like it wants to invert into itself. I want to sink to the ground and stop existing. These are the words that people use to describe me, but they aren't me. The me that I know is a five-year-old girl chasing around one of her friends making kissy noises. The girls give me a look I'm not familiar with. The me that I know is a kid who wants to fit in with her friends, who has stared by one of her other friends to lick her nipple in the pool showers. They give me a look I'm not familiar with. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at me that way? Is what my dense autistic brain asks me. My father asks if I like girls, and I say I do. They're great friends. He doesn't touch upon this subject again, afraid to expose me to the nasty, liberal world of LGBT propaganda that would surely taint my young, innocent Christian mind. Public middle school is a hell that I never want to repeat again, so I request to go to private school, the kind of school my parents always want me to go to. Mercy High School, the Catholic all-girls private high school, keeps me in the dark, again, of the LGBT propaganda that they believe would taint my young, innocent Christian mind. High school was the time when I first started questioning my gender, actually. It started when I played male roles in school plays. Acting in those roles me feel so much more confident, stronger, and my self-esteem rose for the first time in a long while. And I came to conclude something. If I presented myself as more masculine, I was a lot more comfortable with myself. It was a little easier to talk to people when I'm more confident. I'm not as depressed as I usually am. Life is actually pretty great now. So I start dressing like a guy outside of school whenever I have the chance. Prom comes up, and it's an event mom and dad require me to go to against my will, saying that it will be a night I will never forget. I read over the dress code for the dance. Your dress shouldn't go past your hands at your sides. Don't show too much cleavage. Don't show too much back. Don't wear sheer skin coat. Don't wear sheer skin tones that make you look naked. So I'm thinking, how about a tux? I'd love to wear a tux to prom. So I ask about it from the faculty and staff. I go to the office and ask, hey, can I wear a tux to prom? It doesn't break the dress code. No. But why? It'll be appropriate. No. Whenever I tell people this story, they say, oh, no wonder, that would never pass in a private school, Christian school. Oh, that's why, it makes sense. Because we all know how anti-LGBT the church is. It's only natural that you couldn't dress as some butch lesbian. I've regretted my high school prom ever since. It's only been six years that I hated every single moment of that fucking dance. Sometimes I wonder, what if I had gone to prom in a tuxedo instead? Lied to my parents about getting the okay from school and showing up anyway? Could I have used that chance to make a difference? Would anyone care if I went in a tux? Would they have kicked me out of prom? Could I have stood up myself to be myself on one of the most important nights of my life? Could I have taken it to the news? Force a private Christian school to be more accepting? God, that'd be the dream. So, hell that comes and goes, and I'm off to college. I join the LGBT club, and I finally find the time to figure out my identity in a more accepting environment. If dressing like a guy makes me more comfortable, then am I a guy, a tomboy, a 
cross-dresser? Or maybe I'm transgender? stairs wearing this. You look fantastic, Claire. You're really rocking that binder. I'm so glad you found a way to make yourself feel better about yourself. Those dead fish eyes that didn't want anything to do with my happiness popped that little bubble of hope. You already used my preferred pronouns. Isn't that enough? Actually, it isn't. If you're going to accept me, then you should accept all of me. You can't just pick and choose what you like and ignore what you hate. Thank you. 